What is going on guys? Before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know we now have shirts for the channel. So Ashley designed these. I've been wearing them for a few events. Obviously the front's got the HP Builds logo and on the back it says go fast, don't suck, which if you guys remember way back when, what was that last year Ashley? You actually wrote that on the microwave at one of our events because she wasn't around when I was leaving. So she wrote drive fast, don't suck. So in the description below, there will be a link to these shirts. You can get them. You've got white, you've got red. Dad's got a blue one. What other colors gray. we got? We got a gray one, but definitely check out the link after this video. Now let's get into the video. I'm just selling this thing all right so as you can tell we have got a go-kart on our hands and not just any go-kart this go-kart is freaking huge so what we've got here it is called a joiner dirt devil it's got a 250 cc water-cooled motor cvt belt driven and i tell you what this thing runs like 35 mile an hour with me on it and it'll run 35 mile an hour with me and dad on it because the CVT really doesn't care about how much weight is applied. It's really just the speed it can get to at the top end of the CVT. This thing runs really, really great. But I tell you, when we got it, it needed a lot of work. It had a lot of wiring going on for all the switches and things up in the front here. It had a thermostat on it with a water temp gauge right here on the front that was also wired up a little odd. So we gave this thing a fresh once over on the wiring. We put a new battery in this thing. I mean, we even tucked all the wiring in down here because all of this wiring was just kind of like in this general vicinity. Everything was too long. Everything was too short in places. It just needed a good once over. From there, all I did was paint the wheels, put a fresh set of tires on it because it wasn't really holding uh, any air on the fronts because they were so dry rotted and put new blinkers on this thing and now it is ready to sell and that is what we are doing so i don't know if you guys remember oh gosh probably a little over a year ago i tried to get my hands on two of these uh go-karts but they were a little smaller than this one and long story short lost that deal but now i got a good deal on this one there's plenty of room even after buying new tires and new batteries and new turn signals and a lot more wiring as far as time goes. There's still room to make some money on this thing. So we've got the trailer up on the hill and we are going to put this thing on it and we are going to put a for sale sign on it and try to get this thing sold. My plan is when this thing sells, because it will, when it sells, I'm going to try to buy another one and do this over and over and over again. And uh, this one, we got such a good deal on it that it's going to give me a good first test run to see what the market will actually allow as far as price point. I can, I can wiggle it a little bit if I need to. But for now, this thing is going to get put back on that trailer and we are going to go, uh, we're going to do something else and uh, see if this thing sells. All right, guys, so uh, since I finished shooting that video this morning, it's only been about four or five hours, and I already have like five people committed to coming and seeing this thing tomorrow. I've had a few people stop and look at it today. I tell you what, we're sticking to the price, so I've made a little bit of money. Not a bad day to uh, own a go-kart, and now we just got to figure out how to get this thing actually gone, get some cash in our hand, and then go buy another one and another one. 
So we will see you guys in the next video when we go racing. And uh, very soon there'll be another uh, item sitting out here by the road ready for sale.